So it's hard to believe it has been six months since we saw an Ubuntu release, but yet here we are with Ubuntu 13.10, the saucy salamander. I guess the adage time flies when you're having fun can be applied to Ubuntu with this release cycle because Really, to be honest, there's not a whole lot that's changed on the desktop, but there has been a lot of change that's been happening with the whole idea of Ubuntu's convergence. That is the idea of putting a desktop operating system and a mobile operating system in the same bag, shaking them up and letting them run on every device out there, be it TVs, mobile phones, tablets, computers, laptops, etc. And with Ubuntu 13.10, they are one step closer to that goal. And for, to that, I give them some major props. But when it comes to Ubuntu 13.10, the saucy salamander on the desktop, what has actually changed and what are we going to notice? Well, that is going to be the subject of today's review. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so let's first take care of business. Ubuntu 13.10 is the first Ubuntu release that is also going to be seeing a stable Ubuntu phone OS release. Now that's kind of unrelated to the desktop, but as far as Canonical's wider vision for convergence, it's a pretty big deal. So people will be able to take their Android phones and turn them into Ubuntu phones. So that's all pretty exciting news. But as far as what's new here on the desktop, you've got the Linux kernel 3.11, and you've also got the standard like compatible with Windows UEFI, so it's nice and easy to install on Windows uh, based systems, especially Windows 8 based systems. And you've got Unity 7 sitting atop sort of GNOME 3.8, uh, at least as far as the GTK side of things is concerned. Now on the mobile side of things, on Ubuntu Touch, you have Unity 8, and this is more Qt QML based, uh, therefore they're trying to eliminate that GTK middle ground. If you didn't understand any of that, then don't worry about it because it's not really that important. As far as new features on the desktop side of things, there isn't a whole lot apart from here in the dash in the form of smart scopes. Now smart scopes are basically a online filter for all of the searches that you do inside the dash here. So you can search for nearly anything and you can filter those results by your favorite online sources. And you can see here you've got a lot to choose from. This little feature was originally going to debut in the previous release of Ubuntu, but it wasn't quite fully baked. And so they decided to include it here in Ubuntu 13.10, giving it a little bit more time to mature. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't really use this all that much, so it's not really that big a deal to me. But I guess for those people who want to use it, it's there and it works. It is a bit clunky because it does depend on your internet connection. So for example, if I search for hard drive, then you can see we're sitting around waiting a little bit and it gives us suggestions for not only different Wikipedia articles, it gives us suggestions for music, for music that I can buy, for searching in Ask Ubuntu. And then if I was to ask it of more sources such as eBay, then it would bring up some eBay results here as well. So as you can see, it, it kind of works, but it, I don't know, I'm not entirely sold in just because it's a little bit slow. And again, this depends on how quick your internet is as well. Now, for those of you who do not want Canonical providing you with online search results, then you can simply go into the system settings and turn them off. And I gotta be honest with you, that was one of the first things that I did. Jump into security and privacy, into the search dialog and turn off the online result. You get a much more simple result when you look for things on your system, which to me that makes more sense. Now, as far as version numbers go, of course, there's always gonna be revisions here because we have, as I said before, GNOME 3.8 which means that Nautilus now looks a bit cleaner and nicer and a number of the other applications in the GNOME desktop look nicer as well. A little bit cleaner, a little bit more succinct. Firefox and Thunderbird, the pair from Mozilla, are both sitting at version 24. And I gotta say that Firefox is quite a bit peppier now than what it was. When it comes to opening up multiple tabs at once, it's almost as fast as Chrome nowadays, which is saying something but I still tend to use Chrome quite a bit because it just has all of those fantastic add-ons and synchronizes across many different platforms and systems. We also have Rhythmbox 2.99, which is a little bit of a disappointment because the Rhythmbox version three came out and it didn't quite make the cut for Ubuntu 13.10, but nevertheless, 2.99 is here with some nice features and some nice visual improvements. So that's good to see. As far as overall desktop performance goes, it's really not too bad at all. 
I think I've seen faster in Ubuntu 12.04 and it's definitely, I, I've yet to see an Ubuntu release that is that quick. And I've got to say, I think I've been a little bit spoiled with elementary OS Luna because it is ridiculously fast. So Ubuntu does seem the, the tiniest bit sluggish. And I've got to say that this is probably going to be put down to the fact that I'm just running it off a conventional hard drive with no preload or anything installed. But when it comes to everyday work, you're probably not going to notice the speed difference because it still is a relatively peppy operating system, especially when it comes down to actual launch time, considering when you're launching applications via the keyboard. I still love Unity for its keyboard functionality, especially when it comes to menu heavy applications like LibreOffice and Caden Live, my favorite video editor. As you can see, using that heads up display menu is, uh, is a real lifesaver when it comes to productivity. And I've yet to see a more elegantly implemented solution elsewhere. Now also one little recommendation that I would like to make is make sure that you install the Unity Tweak tool because this allows you to easily change stuff about the Ubuntu desktop that we wish we all could out of the box. It's got, so it's got some fantastic functionality there. Definitely give that a look if you're going to be using a Unity on your desktop. It's also worth mentioning as per prior releases that the online accounts integration here is also very good. And like I said, because Ubuntu is moving towards a mobile device convergence, Getting this online account integration right is something that they need to do and they've done it well. It ties in with quite a few pre-installed applications. So when you when you sign into your Google account, it will bring in your Google documents, your photos into Shotwell. It'll provide you with easy export settings from Shotwell to YouTube, etc., etc. It ties in very nicely. Of course, Ubuntu still comes with all that all those standard Ubuntu tools like Ubuntu One, the cloud syncing service, think like Dropbox, and also Ubuntu One Music, their music store, and the Software Center. Now I've got to say I'm a bit disappointed that the Software Center hasn't really moved at all since the since Ubuntu 12.04. Uh, it's still as sluggish and as boggy as ever, and it really does need a workover, especially with all of the fantastic apps that are now available in the Software Center, such as Steam and all of the games that it provides. So I definitely think they need to focus some resources on the Ubuntu Software Center to bring it up to par with every other Software Center out there now. And considering Ubuntu was one that was the first Linux distribution to really pioneer a good looking software center, I feel like it shouldn't be too far out of the ballpark. Overall, is it a worthy upgrade? Well, if you're using 13.04 and you're happy with it, then I would recommend upgrading anyway, simply because the life cycle of these distributions isn't gonna be the, the longest uh, as Canonical has shifted these to a nine month support release cycle. So these are only going to be supported for nine months after their release before they're retired. So I think for that alone, that it's better to upgrade to 13.10 if you've been using 13.04. If you're still happy with the long-term support release, the 12.04 release, then I would still recommend sticking with it unless you really like online integration. Because as far as features on the desktop, there's not a whole lot to speak of. There's a few enhancements in the dash, but if you're not a big fan of the dash to begin with, as far as finding online source material and integrating all of your accounts into the dash, then there's not really going to be that much value for you here. But having said all of that, Ubuntu still provides a really nice desktop that's definitely capable of managing your digital life and being your daily driver operating system. There's very little lacking here. And with the addition of Steam and all of the games that it provides, Ubuntu is really showing to be a very viable option on the desktop. And of course their march towards convergence continues with the saucy salamander. So what do you think of Ubuntu's latest offering? Some seem to think that Ubuntu is losing its focus from a desktop operating system to suit these mobile platforms, which seem to be more profitable and possibly more popular in the future. To me, I think that they're still developing and innovating on Linux, and I reckon that is a major bonus for anybody who's interested in open source software. But I'd be interested to hear your feedback in the comments below, or on Google+, Facebook, or Twitter, wherever it is that you hang out. So thank you all again for watching, and liking, and subscribing, and doing all of that stuff that you as an audience are fantastic at doing, and I shall see you all in the very near future. I'm going to be having a look at PC Linux OS, the maintenance release that they recently put out in the last couple of days and we're also going to try and keep up with a few more different software or app reviews on the desktop as well. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you all later. Peace out ladies and gentlemen.